Okay. So diabetes insipidus, this isn't to be confused with, with your sugar diabetes, that's diabetes mellitus. So diabetes insipidus basically refers to the, to the animal not being able to concentrate its urine and not because of kidney failure. So what we get with diabetes insipidus, it's basically um, like I say, the kidneys can't concentrate the urine because a drug or a, a hormone that's quite important in, in that um, concentration function isn't doing its job. And we have two forms of diabetes insipidus. It can be central or renal. And so the, the um, hormone that's antidiuretic hormone, that's produced up in the brain and goes down to the kidneys. So the two forms that we get of this, the central form where the hormone's basically not being produced, or the renal form where the kidneys aren't responding to the, um, to the hormone. And basically what it means is the kidneys aren't concentrating the urine, so the dog or cat is producing huge quantities of urine. They're needing to drink a lot to keep up with that, with that demand. And so kind of we get a situation where the dog's peeing lots and as a result it's drinking lots. And it looks very similar to the sugar sort of diabetes because that's in sugar diabetes, the glucose that goes into the urine is pulling out a lot of fluid, but it's a different cause. So this is generally diagnosed as a combination of blood tests. So we check the things like the kidney function and the, the glucose level to make sure there's, it's not um, the sugar diabetes or um, a kidney failure that's affecting the urine concentration. We also need to rule out another condition called psychogenic poly polydipsia, where dogs for, we see occasionally dogs where we're not really sure why, but they drink excessively and that makes them pee excessively. Um, so that might, we might do something called a modified water deprivation test, where we basically very, very slowly back off on the amount of water the dog's exposed to and check to see if the kidneys start to concentrate the urine. Um, yeah, there's a few steps we can go through with this. It can be a frustrating one for us to diagnose, but once we've diagnosed it, we can generally treat it quite well. So there's a medication we can apply to um, basically to the eyes or to the to the um, nostrils, and that can have an effect, particularly it works quite well with the central um, diabetes insipidus, and we can get things under control. So it's quite a rare condition. It's the sort of thing we might see once every five to 10 years at, as a vet, um, but something that we have to put on our list of, of possibilities if we've got a, a pet that's drinking and peeing too much.